look forward to working with you in the years to come. Yeah. I call the Honourable Member Reno Terakatini. Tenakte. Ah, oh, tenakwe te kai fakamana. Tenakoi tu e te fare. A e ngā tangata o ngā pari e mara. Ngai tā manuhiri tenakoi tau, tenakoi tau. No mai, haere mai whakatau mai ki te pare mata e takatū nei. Tenakoi tau, tenakatū katoa. Mr Speaker, I'm delighted to stand and make my contribution on this, this final uh, reading passage of this bill for Ngai Tā Manuhiri. As a new member, Mr Speaker, uh, it's been a thrill actually being on the, a member of the Māori Affairs Select Committee to actually uh, follow this passage of this bill right the way through to the House, from the first, second reading, um, Select Committee hearings, and now to this uh, final reading, uh, Mr Speaker. So it is a steep learning curve for me. Um, being uh, the member for Te Tai Tonga, there is actually a connection, uh, in addition to the, the Ngai Tahu uh, Whakapapa connection that, that uh, we share with our uh, Tahu Pōtiki and our whanaunga here with Ngai Tamanuhiri, uh, there is also a common connection because uh, our, our whanaunga there, tu, Tutakawa Wiley, was also the member for Te Tai Tonga a uh, few elections back there. So um, we, do, we, we do share, we do share uh, many, many things in common. Uh, but, Mr Speaker, I am you know, delighted to be speaking at this stage. We have um, heard this afternoon about the shared history that uh, Ngai Tamanuhiri share with Rongo Whakata and therefore the Crown's breaches of the treaty, uh, their acknowledgements and their apologies as set out in the Bill are... Um, very, very similar and aligned to the same breaches which occurred to Rongo Whakata. Uh, when I think of the, the attacks at uh, Wairenga Hika, uh, the loss of life at Ngātapa, and uh, the detentions that were over there on Whare Kauri. So you can't differentiate the two. They, they, they were... Uh, the, the, the two whānau, were, uh, the two iwi were, were part of all of those uh, atrocities. So it's uh, appropriate that uh, they are acknowledged, they are recorded uh, in this bill, in the deed of settlement, and flowing through now uh, into this passage of this legislation. Um, Mr Speaker, we know that uh, the redress uh, that's offered and that is part of the uh, package that we're putting through today doesn't compensate for, for the loss uh, that has been inflicted on uh, these iwi uh, for many generations, but um, as the Minister Finlayson noted, this is uh, a, a step forward. This is a, this is a beginning, and uh, we've seen it happening right across the motu uh, for the past 30-odd years in terms of the modern Treaty Day settlement process, and um, so this is a very, very hallmark occasion for, for Ngai Tā Manuhiri. I've had the uh, pleasure of working with Ngai Tā Manuhiri when I was with Ngai Tahu, uh, and I'm thinking of a settlement in a different context, and that was in the fisheries context, and we, I acknowledge the close association that Ngai Tā Manuhiri has had with uh, Ngai Tahu, and in particular the Treaty Tribes Coalition, uh, and the support and the whanaungatanga that uh, I had a privilege of, of being amongst and working with uh, in the years when I was there, and it is still strong today. Mr Speaker, there are many elements to these settlements, uh, as my colleagues have spoken about, and I'd just like to pick up on what my matua uh, parekura mentioned about how disappointed we are about at some aspects of these settlements. And uh, we know that the Crown has vast... Uh, can, assets at their disposal. All the King's horses and all the King's men you can muster and write out a $1.7 billion cheque to bail out some investors in a failed finance company uh, when you really have to, when they really want to. And so I, I just want to say how disappointed I am uh, that, that the arrangements in some of our treaty settlements, uh, you know, they could go a, a lot further. And I look at the arrangements of, of Ngai Tamanuhiri and it's great that we've had uh, the recognition of the mana of Te Kuri Apawa, uh, young Nick's head.
but I prefer te kuri a paua. But to, for this iwi, this whānau here to go and visit their wahi tapu, they have to seek permission from the American owner of the surrounding adjacent lands. And Mr. Mr. Speaker, you know, that's not good enough. There are too many examples of Māori magnanimity. Uh, that's a word that um, my tuahine, <laughs> uh, Nanaia, um, uh, was speaking about this afternoon. Magnanimity in treaty redress these days. Too many examples of that. And so receiving back our sacred mountains and our islands for a period of 24 hours and then having to re-gift it back to the people of New Zealand, it smacks of paternalism and an unwillingness to fully acknowledge the wrong. And so I'd just like to encourage this minister and all future uh, treaty settlement processes that, that the Crown really does make an effort to make sure that there is full recognition of the mana of the, of the owners of those wahi tapu sites, such as Te Kuri Apawa, and many others that will be coming through on um, treaty settlements that are yet to come through this House. And I'd like to think that the Crown can also be adventurous and maybe look at having, having a chat with the, with, with the American landowners, arranging a round of golf or, or having, a, having a bit of a few drinks, but coming up with a solution where everyone's mana is enhanced and that the end result will be never having to ask permission to visit Te Kuri Apawa again. And, Mr Speaker, we've seen it in other elements uh, there is the, the gifting or the right to purchase back um, Pākōwhai Scenic Reserve and other very important uh, wahi tapu uh, sites. And again, it would be good to see in terms of future settlements a more commitment and more going back to the actual mana whenua and the aggrieved treaty partner. Uh, yes, the acknowledgements and the apologies are, are vitally important and it would be good to see some more measures being taken whereby some more uh, control and rangatiratanga can actually go back to the mana whenua for their sacred sites. And so, Mr Speaker, uh, this is a, a, a defining moment for my tamanuhiri, but I also think it is a step forward and we're, we're looking at economic development opportunities that will flow on through these settlements. And I, I wish my Tamanuhiri all the best in terms of their future activities and their aspirations. I know they're highly schooled in a very well organised iwi, and they've got some very talented people uh, in their midst. And I look forward to seeing uh, what, what's going to happen in the Tūranga region when we look at the likes of our recapitalised iwi, Rongo Whakaata, uh, Ngai Tamanuhiri, Mahaki Te Kam, and also the, the various uh, landing corporation interests in that region. Uh, I'm sure that will be a driving force for the Tūranga region in the, in the coming years. So, Mr Speaker, uh, this is a, our final bill for the day. I'm delighted that I have been able to make this contribution right the way through the process through this House. And I'd just like to conclude by mihiing once again to the whānau of Ngai Tāmanuhiri who have travelled all the way down here uh, to support this day. I think of all of the people on the claims committees and the researchers and a 20-year process that has gone on, right from tribunal hearings, right through negotiations with the Crowns, all the way through to a deed of settlement and then a long passage through the House right up to this stage here. So I thank you, as my uh, colleague Charles mentioned, we, the gratitude that we have for your partnership with the Crown through this process and we're looking forward to seeing what more that future, what, what that future will hold uh, beyond the past passage of this bill. So I mihi to you all. Kia ora no tātou katoa. I call the Honourable Member Catherine Delahunty.